count off. Three schools were locked down today, as well as most of the Taylor Ranch subdivision, while police hunted for a wanted man, Alex Gallegos. During that time, no one was allowed in or out of Chamisa Elementary, Marie Hughes Elementary, or Lyndon B. Johnson Middle School. Five hours later, police found the suspect hiding in a home. Beginning our live team coverage, Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson outside that house. Doug and Shelley, Alex Gallegos hopped over fences and went through backyards in this neighborhood. Police say he tried to break into three houses along this street and left a blood trail leading up to this house where the manhunt finally ended. Cars lined side streets of the Taylor Ranch subdivision. No one got in and no one came out. My next door neighbor, he's locked in his house. He can't get out. There's about six ways to get into the subdivision and they all found where they were. Police blocked the area off to look for this man, Alex Trinidad Gallegos. Officers had been in the area all morning waiting to serve Gallegos a warrant. He saw police and tried to get away. We know that an altercation between the vehicles we believe occurred. At some point after that, shots were exchanged. We're not exactly sure at this point who all fired. Wounded Gallegos then led police on a manhunt. <laughs> Dozens of officers showed up to help. Sky 7 got this video of a SWAT team inspecting a shed. Officers throw a flashbang at it. Others knocked on doors asking people if they'd seen Gallegos. Then a SWAT team noticed blood on the window of this home. The deputies opened the window seal, saw a larger amount of blood. They entered the house, cleared, they found the subject hiding in a closet. And after nearly four hours, police took their suspect into custody. Rescue units were called out to assist and evaluate. Sky 7 shows us a black shirt and medic gloves left in front of the home he was found in. Bernalillo County deputies say the manhunt ended the way they wanted it to. They got a dangerous criminal off the streets. He tried to break into four, got into two houses. Um, it's wanted for homicide. You, you, I mean, you don't find you know very much uh, worse suspects than that. Gallegos is at an area hospital receiving treatment for his injuries. Now, take a look at this other Sky 7 video that we have. Police also took three other people into custody today. Here's video of two of them in handcuffs. Investigators are now questioning them downtown about what they know about Gallegos. Live in Northwest Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. And we are learning more about Alex Gallegos. Our sources say, as we just heard, he was wanted for murder. Target 7's Nancy Laughlin has more. It was under a bridge on I-40 last May near the Route 66 casino where the body of 41-year-old Sergio Beckham was found. Police reports at the time say Beckham's brother told authorities the two were fixing a car at a gas station on Montano and Edith when two other guys came up in a Ford Expedition and used a taser on Beckham, forcing him into a car. They told his brother to leave. In June, authorities arrested two men in connection with the case. Now today, law enforcement telling Action 7 News deputies were going to arrest another suspect they think is tied to Bickham's death. There was gunfire. The suspect hit and wounded. Took off. Nancy Laughlin, KOAT, Action 7 News.